I have this simple scene in Blender where my main character discovers his new ability, the ability to stretch and deform his limbs. But without using Houdini, I would not be able to achieve this effect. Yeah, deformation and stretching are definitely possible in Blender and you could probably achieve similar results using a cloth sim. However, maybe it's my lack of skill or patience, but in my opinion, these simulations work better and are easier to achieve in Houdini. In this video, I wanted to show you how I work with the two pieces of software and how I eventually bring my Houdini simulations into Blender for the final render. That kind of rhymes, Blender for the final render. <laughs> well, it all starts in Blender, where I prepare the environment, add assets, set up lighting, and add characters. I also do my animations in Blender. So here you see a boy raising his arm. It's not floppy yet, but it needs the base animation first. I animated this using Move AI, Motion Capture, and retargeted the animation to my character. Then I deleted the rest of the body as this shot will only have the arm visible. I applied a bit of the form in Blender first to help Houdini calculate the collisions on the wall better. Then I selected the arm and bandages and exported as an Alembic file. I made sure to export only the selection and apply modifiers I do the same for the wall and other fixtures because later in Houdini it will act as a collision object. In Houdini I created a geometry node so I can import the Olympic file for the boy and a separate one for the room and fixtures. I created a third geometry container or geo where the simulation will take place. There are a few nodes here to help the simulation I won't explain them in detail, I'll only show you the settings and the values I chose. I will include this file on Patreon for free so you can use it and replace my characters with yours and also replace the collision object. I learned this effect from Christopher Routledge's YouTube video. He provides a proper tutorial so definitely check it out and you'll learn a lot. I use this time shift node to freeze the first frame in place and connected it to a BDB from Polygon's node with a voxel size of 0.002 for a more accurate simulation, but go higher if your machine can't handle a low number. Then I converted it to a BDB, remeshed, and plugged all of this into a point deform. In the attribute paint node, I created a new attribute and called it stretch stiffness. Then I painted the areas that I wanted the effect the most. The purple area indicates the strongest effect, while the red area indicates no effect. The strength here is controlled in the FG flow, where one and above is no effect, and zero is maximum effect. It's good to have red, especially around where the joints are connecting back with the body. This will allow a seamless transition between the simulated arm and the rest of the body which doesn't have this effect. Then plug this to a vellum cloth with cloth type selected and set the stretch stiffness to 1000 times one and the bend stiffness to 100 times 0.1. Lower these values if you want more deform and less rigidness, but these values work perfect for what I need. Then added the wall and fixtures as a collision object so that the arm bounces off this wall. Plug this into a vellum strut with a 2000 stiffness and a vellum constraint. With a pin to target and stiffness set to 80, but making sure to add the stretch stiffness attribute. Then plugged all of this into a time shift again and back to a point to form. And this is the simulation that we're going to get. Yeah, I really like the floppy finger effect and the bounce and the way it interacts with the animation that I created in Blender. I made sure to clean up unwanted attributes with a clean node, otherwise sometimes in Blender I have issues importing. 
Finally, I exported using a ROP Alembic node and saved to disk. Back to Blender, I imported the Alembic file. I then added the textures back to the object. I assigned the skin texture to the character's body. And for the bandages, I applied a cloth material. Everything seems to work well together. I'm really liking this workflow where I can do simulations in Houdini and bring it back into Blender because Blender is my preferred 3D software. I do all my modeling and animation there, but I do love Houdini as well. It just works well with all the nodes and the non-destructive layout. Yeah, this is just one example of how I use Houdini and Blender for scenes. In the past, I have also brought in water simulations into Blender. Hope this video was somewhat useful. In the next few weeks, I'll be uploading more videos about my film until I release in a few months, hopefully. Thanks for watching and peace out.